Hello, 8th graders. Yeah, welcome. We're going to do another video tutorial. I know right now you guys are um, taking a quiz or something, and I'm over here while you are in Mr. Claus's room. But, hey, today's lesson is adding and subtracting fractions with like and unlike denominators. So get out a pencil, piece of paper. Let's take notes. All right. Um, so, hey, the first thing is, well, what are like denominators? Like, yeah, like, really, like, okay, like denominators? So... Like denominators are when the denominators are the same. So here I've got 5 eighths and I have 3 eighths. Those are called like denominators. These are called unlike denominators. 1 third, 2 fifths. So when I ask a third grader or a fourth grader what's 1 half plus 1 half, a lot of them will say, well, hey, that would be 2 fourths. Because the reason why they would say that is because 1 plus 1, well, that's 2, and 2 plus 2, well, that's 4. But if you use your math sense, you're like, well, how can a half plus a half really be two-fourths? Because two-fourths is just a half. That is just a half. This is just a half. So when you're adding fractions with like denominators, what you have to understand is you don't add the denominators. And the question is, well, why? Because the denominator is the unit that you are in. I have one half plus one half, which gives me two halves. That's like me saying one minute plus one minute gives me two minutes. The denominator is the unit that you are in. So one half plus one half gives you two of these halves, or it really gives you one whole. It gives you two halves, or it really gives you one whole, okay? Likewise, 5 eighths minus 2 eighths. Well, 5 eighths minus 2 eighths gives you 3 what? Eighths. Just like me saying 5 minutes minus 2 minutes gives me 3 minutes. So, that's what I was just discussing here. If you had 3 minutes plus 2 minutes, well, you have 5 minutes. If you have one foot plus one foot, you have two feet. So when you say one fourth plus two fourths, that gives you three what? Fourths. So that is not really a number, that's a unit. You have to understand that denominator is not a number, it's a unit. Okay? So three sevenths plus one sevenths, well, that gives you four. That would give you four sevenths. That would give you four sevens. Okay. So then the real question is, well, how do you add fractions that are unlike? For example, here I have five eighths and here I have three fourths. Well, the same question would be, well, how would you add units that are unlike? Well, what do you mean? Well, what if I said this? What's one yard plus one foot? Nobody in here would say two. You would not say two. Well, why? Because you know one's a yard, that's about this long, and one's a foot, that's about that long. So how do you add them? Well, somebody would say, well, that's four. Four what? Four feet. Yeah, because you converted the yard to feet. And one yard is three feet, and three feet plus one foot is four feet. So that's how you add unlike denominators. You have to convert them to a common denominator. So here, what's a common denominator of fourths and eighths? Well, one thing you could do is change the three fourths to six eighths. You could change three out of four is the same thing as six out of eight. All I did was multiply by two, multiply by two. And so now you can add your six eighths with your five eighths, which gives you all together 11 eighths, okay? Five eighths plus six eighths, 11 eighths. So once again, watch this. If I have something like three, um, let's just say uh, three fourths plus two thirds, how do I add these Unlike denominators, we'll find a common unit. What's a common unit of fourths and thirds? Well, one would be twelfths. Another would be twenty-fourths, because three can go into twenty-four and four can go into twenty-four. And so now you're just doing equivalent fractions. This is something that you just are taking a quiz on right now. Three out of four equals what out of twelve? Two out of three equals what out of twelve? Okay, so we know how to do that. Four goes into twelve three times, so three times three is nine. 3 goes into 12 four times, so 4 times 2 is 8. So add your 9 twelfths and your 8 twelfths, which gives you 17 twelfths, 
And if you change it back to a mixed number, that gives you 1 and 5 twelfths. So what I want for you to do, I know you just listened a lot for the last five minutes. Now I need you to do some work. Yeah, let's not try to discuss that. So what I would like for you to do is here are the steps to adding fractions with unlike denominators. Write these steps down. The first thing it says is find a common denominator. So that's what I did here. I found a common denominator between fourths and thirds. I changed it to twelfths. Second step is convert to equivalent fractions with a common denominator. So then I changed my three-fourths to nine-twelfths. That's an equivalent fraction. Two-thirds to eight-twelfths. That's an equivalent fraction. And then the third step is now add your numerators. and The denominator stays the same. And then simplify. So write these steps down, and then what I want you to do is solve these three problems, and we'll go over and go over them in class. Solve these three problems. So press pause if you need to. I don't think there's anything else I want to discuss. No. So tomorrow class, what we are going to do is just discuss this, see if you solve these correctly, and then I'm going to give you some even some harder, more difficult questions. Any questions? No? No questions? Okay, sorry. Have a great day. Bye-bye.